Hey there, good afternoon, Brenda Meller with Meller Marketing. We're going live here on Facebook and live on LinkedIn. And I'm doing a little bit of a different format for today. I didn't have a LinkedIn live scheduled. And I actually, um, I work at home with my husband who works for Oakland Community College, Chris. And how are you doing, Chris? Good morning. Good doing, afternoon. I guess good, good morning. Well, yeah. good afternoon. Yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you. And Nicole, and Nicole, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Good morning. Good afternoon. You guys got me saying. <laughs> I know. It's a, it's a little like once we cross the, the noon threshold, it's like, I don't know. I had a point in the day today where I thought it was Friday and I was looking at my calendar and thinking tomorrow's the weekend, but everything's yeah. a little disorienting. So um, yeah. at any rate, I, I just figured we, I didn't have any discussions planned for today on, on live. And um, I've been talking to Chris a while about, you know, bringing you and um, Nicole out to have a little bit yeah. of a conversation and talk about the work that you guys are doing at Oakland Community College. Um, so what I'd like to do to start off is, first of all, welcome all of those of you who are watching on LinkedIn Live right now. Maybe you uh, noticed the, the live notification pulling up and you decided to jump on the feed. Maybe you're on Facebook. And if you are on Facebook watching this on Meller Marketing, if you add a comment into the comments on the live feed, I can actually pull your comments up here on screen. So sometimes we get shout outs from different people that are watching this online and then share this video. If you're watching this later on, um, share the video. But I'd also like to invite you to leave a comment below and just tell us where you're watching from. Are you in Michigan like the three of us? Are you watching from some other part of the world? And uh, what's the weather like by you guys out there too? So I'll uh, come to your comments a little bit later. But what I'd like to do now is first I'll have um, Chris and then Nicole introduce yourself, talk a little bit about what you do, and then we'll talk about kind of what's happening in, in Oakland Community College world. So Chris, awesome. you want to start us off? Yeah, my name is Chris Meller, and I'm one of the admission coordinators at Oakland Community College, and I'm out of the Highland Lakes campus, um, our, one of our five campuses that we have. So uh, my job is to go into high schools, talk to students, um, see if they're interested in going to Oakland Community College and see what their aspirations are uh, for after uh, graduation. And obviously this year, uh, a little bit different. So we're, we're reaching out from home <laughs> to our students and trying to stay connected with them. Very cool. And I like the branding you guys, you guys have both have OCC shirts on today, which is really nice. Always. So yep. I guess logo. As a marketer, I always appreciate that. And then Chris, I see you've got a banner behind you there too. I do. I, I've I had that up since right started now. working. <laughs> I I've put that up when we started working from home uh, just to make it um, when I'm on Zoom or just to make, I'm trying to keep my day as normal as possible um, by keeping that work vibe going. So yeah. I'm playing with some different views. This is the first yeah. time I've had three people in on my Zoom session, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with this here. But we have cool. uh, a, a, a three person conversation here today. So Nicole, hi, how are you? So why don't you do introduce yourself if you could? Well, my name is Nicole Jennings, and everything that Chris just said, I do as well. Um, <laughs> yes, but I'm very well. OCC admissions event planner. So I plan a lot of events on campuses. Yeah. Um, it all, a lot of the events involving high school students. Um, and so I'm sad that we're at home and not able to do these events. So now we're trying to figure out how to do online. So yeah, um, yeah but I'm out of the Auburn Hills campus and um, where we are home of skilled trades. So I have a lot of skilled yeah. trades in my backyard. Yeah, awesome. So, and I know like there's so many changes I've been having here in Michigan um, with the, the shutdown and the stay at home order, one of which being, you know, all the public schools um, were essentially closed for the rest of the year. And the kids are doing online learning now. And we're hearing a lot of conversations right now about high school seniors. And, you know, you really feel for them. Our neighbor has a one of the signs on, on their lawn. You know, she's graduating this year and we have family and friends as well that are graduating. Um, and this might be changing the conversation a little bit about what they do in the fall, um, given the pandemic and, you know, the concerns about health and, you know, everything kind of going in the long term. So, um, you know, I kind of thought this might be a good conversation to have because as families are having conversations with their high schoolers now about what do we do in the fall? You know, do we still want to go away to school or are we thinking maybe of, of staying closer to home? So. I'll just throw it over to you guys. I mean, are these conversations you're having now with kids and their parents or, or kind of what are you hearing out there? Go ahead, Nicole. Well, I will say yes. Um, the good thing about OCC, Oakland Community College, is that um, 
we don't have to change much. You know, we are all, we've always been here for students um, right in their backyards, able to come in and take some classes, transfer out. So we're still that for students. Um, I think the conversation now is, of course, with the pass fail and, um, you know, the satisfactory. Can I get a credit for the class? Do I just pass the class? Um, the good thing about OCC is we don't have a requirement, a GPA requirement, so or SAT requirement. So um, students can still come and take classes with us and transfer. You know, once everything is settled and you know people are feeling more safe to go and travel again, they can transfer and travel, or they can stay with us and get an associate's degree. Yeah, and that's not a bad yeah. idea. Um, and in terms of kind of the the cost for community college compared to going away to school. So if you're going to be just doing classes online in the fall and you're not actually going to be going to a college campus, why not start at? I'm going to do a little bit of pitch for you guys here too. But why not start at OCC <laughs> and then transfer in a future semester, right? Yeah, yeah, it's true. Um, you know. All the community colleges are in the same boat as we are, obviously, um, for summer. Everyone's doing um, uh, online classes, no face-to-face -face right now. So it's really been a change for us at OCC, um, trying to get everybody used to that, especially for maybe um, instructors that have never done it before, but to learn something new and to, you know, and that's great. And everyone's been really um, awesome about taking control of it and taking hold of that and running with it because um, it is, it's the new normal right now. And who knows going into fall, I know MSU is already talking about maybe having nobody on campus um, for fall and, yeah. and going fully online. So the conversations change every single day when we're in meetings and we hear an update and like Nicole said, the pass fail, we're hearing from counselors saying, well, is this still gonna transfer um, right. as part of our, you know, classes MTA. so yeah and we are in a good situation because we are a community college that doesn't look right. at um those um sat scores and other things so you said it right great place to start if they're a little leery about going somewhere come see us exactly yeah and you guys seem pretty friendly you seem pretty approachable right <laughs> i think so i think we and all are you know and i will say we had a little shout out here um mavita burris who is on facebook and she goes with um Faith with Heels as her handle. And um, she's, you know, she's adding some commentary. She's covering us up here. So I'm gonna have to, oh, sorry, we covered yeah. Chris. But that's you know. all right, it was my hands. <laughs> Yay, that LCC is my alma mater too. Yeah, so, so, so we'll have to, we'll have peer over her comments here. <laughs> but, um, you know, it can certainly be a good investment. And I'm always thinking, you know, um, on kind of budget and what makes the most sense. And, you know, some kids want to go away to school in the fall. And I don't think you can, convince them if they've their whole life they've dreamt about going away to a four-year and they want to go out of state or live out of state or something like that you know you can't necessarily convince them but what if it is not an option what if the cal the university campuses are not open up in the fall why should mom and dad pay for tuition um right. you know what i mean like even if it's that yeah. first semester i mean why yep. not yeah. stay closer to home it just makes um a lot of sense so and, and David Lambert, he's one of my yeah, I connections. I don't know if you guys know David, but he's a adjunct instructor. And, you know, it's definitely a challenge going, I, I have to imagine for many of the instructors and professors and teachers moving from in-person, in-class instruction to online. Yep. And, you know, in the, in the business world, there's been so much discussion lately about, you know, in the past employers were so concerned about employees working from home what you know will they be productive will they get their work done and they were really hesitant and then they have to shift to make it happen and same thing i would imagine for the the college classrooms i mean you don't have any other choice you got to keep going you can't you know stop right. the semester so they're having yep. to shift into that so I'm, along those lines shifting gears too towards you know how are people reaching out and finding out if there are thinking about you know having that conversation i know i know in the past and, and you guys there if you're watching here Chris and I do have the same last name. Um, we are actually related, and no, he's not my brother. He is my husband. So I, um, I, I, you know, Meller Marketing comes from this gentleman. Let's see if I can point him over there. That's that's where the name comes yeah. from. So thank you, Chris, for giving me the M and Meller Marketing. No problem. My pleasure. <laughs> but I know that when um, you know, kind of prior to all of this, you know, you were doing events. You would have high school recruitment events and college fairs where. The, the kids and their parents could come and they could walk up to a table and, and learn more about you guys and what you do and the options that are available. So what options are there 
for, for these high school seniors and their parents now? And maybe other individuals from the community, if they're thinking about, well, my company's downsized, I need to go back and finish my degree or start my associates. So I want, you know, maybe I should look at OCC. How are, how are you having conversations with them now? I mean, you can't come to your campus and, and meet right. people, right? So how are yeah. you approaching those conversations now? Go ahead, Nicole. Oh, you want to start? Okay. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Yeah. Chris is like, you're oh, talking to Chris that's and then he's well, go it for it. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> um, one of the big things that we're doing right now is we're having conversations online through Zoom. Yeah. Um, so I do have a link for people, people and students to log into um, our live virtual live admissions where okay. we talk about all of the programs that we have and kind of walk them through our application process, which is free. Um, so we do have that option, but um, I've had a lot of phone calls. I've had a lot of emails from students just saying, hey, you know, what are my options now? So we've been doing a lot of emailing, um, but we are we are here on the phones. You know, if someone has a conversation, you know, wants to have a conversation, we can, of course, do that. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of our information is still on our website. So, of course, they could go to oaklandcc.edu and get a lot of our information. Um, if they want to do a kind of a self-help, um, I know even our counselors have gone online. So they're doing counselor counseling appointments through zoom and through, um, Facebook, not Facebook, um, through phone and zoom, right. um, our academic support center, you know, they're doing stuff like that as well online. So we're trying to, we're trying to give a, give the students everything that we already provide, um, mm -hmm. it's on in an online format. Okay. Yeah, and again to that too. So we we're so used to giving tours. Nicole, Nicole does a great job of giving tours over at Auburn Hills, and I give tours at Highland Lake. So now we're really trying to get people and students to take our virtual tours. We have yeah. five virtual tours on our. Go to OaklandCC.edu and click on virtual tours, and you'll get that tour of that campus. Since we can't uh, take you around and show you things, so we're really. Um, getting uh, students and parents to really take advantage of that option um, and social media. And of course, our Facebook, our Twitter, our Instagram, our YouTube channel, um, our Chancellor Peter Provenzano has uh, been keeping people up to date on what's going on and the instructors are making great videos out there. Nicole and I, um, our video hasn't uh, made it to, to air yet, but we also did um, a video um, introducing ourselves, kind of like what we're doing now and just, yeah. um, so it's, it's really just about virtually using all the technology um, that's at our fingertips right now to, to do that reach out. Okay. Yeah. And we have emailed counselors at all of our high schools to send out information mm -hmm. to them so they can send out information to their students as well. Okay. So, and, and even the principal. So we're really trying to continue that line of communication so that they know that we're here for them, even though we're working from home. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you a question. So you've got, live and you have virtual maps and tours so i'm imagining the virtual tours are kind of like self-guided i navigate around and i can it's like yeah. a virtual like i click on the mouse and it takes me through campus right yes, okay. yes. versus yep. the virtual what was the other one the live occ so this is um the bitly link i'm popping up on screen right now and i'm gonna um show it on the background here in a second but this yeah. what is the difference between that and the live um live tours so so the so, difference in now, see, I was going to go now, then Nicole wants to go now. <laughs> so, I'll go. All right. So, and you can chime in. Um, so, the, the live admissions, and Nicole and I just got done with one. Nicole, we can remove Chris from the stream like I just did. Right now too. <laughs> He's in the other room. I can see him expressing. This is great. Like, as, um, you know, like a marketing, like if somebody's talking too much, you could pull him out, and then I can pull him back in. Anyway, so, so, so Nicole and I just got done with a virtual live admissions where we are on a Zoom session. We send out a link. They register and okay. we send out a link with a password. And the young lady did not have an application, but she was interested. She was a high school senior okay. um, over at one of the Oakland County high schools. And we walked her through the process of getting her application done. And then Carrie, uh, one of our awesome co-workers, pushes the application through so they don't have to wait that 24 to 48 hours lag time to get okay. accepted and we get their my OCC account and their email and show them the next step so okay. that's the difference 
between it's more interaction and it's live. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah. cool. And so with the virtual tours, the what I what I really like about the virtual tour um, is that students can select a campus and then they can see, of course, all the buildings that are there, but they have cool little videos where some of our student recruiters, some of our mm -hmm. students that are still students right now have um, put together little videos about areas on campus mm -hmm. and they can walk our labs and see like the nursing lab, our automotive labs, um, some of our mechatronic labs. So they can walk through all of those areas and see what it would be like to be a student at OCC. Okay. That's, exactly. That's through the virtual, yeah. right? Yes. And that's through virtual OCC. Okay. Yeah. That's very cool. So it's, it's nice to have yeah. a couple of different options. I mean, you can still interact with, with human beings, you know, through, through the, yeah. um, the live events that you're doing online through Zoom, yes. but you can also do the virtual tour where you can just kind of navigate and go around campus. And that sounds pretty cool too. Yeah, we actually, and there's also hopefully in the next couple of weeks, Nicole and I are putting together um, some Facebook lives mm -hmm. that we're gonna do to answer questions. Just okay. maybe, maybe not do the application, but answer any questions um, about any of the programs or, or anything else. So we're in the process of getting that. I'd like to do that maybe once a week um, to answer questions um, regarding the school or anything else in general. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, that all sounds really awesome. So Nicole, wasn't this easy? This was painless, wasn't it? I was like, I put this on painless. Christmas morning. Nicole's like, you want me to do what? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> it's just people talking is all it is. And I, and I think yep. uh, I was on a, a, a training session earlier today, a webinar, and the ladies I was talking to on that webinar, I was like, isn't it so nice to see people's faces other than the people that are living in the household with you? And no offense, because I love my husband and I love my children, but mm -hmm. yeah. it's really yeah. nice to see faces of other human beings. Um, and even like if you go out in public right now, um, everybody's got a mask on that's covering. Yeah, you, you, you just know, see you, eyes and forehead. Well, you see their eyes, so you can make eye contact, but you can't. Like I was at the fruit market the other day and I wore my mask and I was making a joke with a cashier and, and I couldn't tell if she laughed or not. Or if she was irritated with me for joking about it, because I couldn't see, like, is she is she smiling? Is she like right. irritated because she's there and I'm making jokes about being at the register? Or, you know, it's it was hard. Yeah. It's really nice to be able to have those options for the virtual training as well, and for for having you guys coming on um, the session here today. So what I'm going to do yes, before we wrap is I'm going to take a quick peek at LinkedIn. And what I'm doing, guys, is I'm pulling up my phone because I'm using StreamYard for this process. And um, there's a limitation with the live streaming, and that is that I can only see comments on Facebook. I can't see them on LinkedIn. So I have to go into the um, LinkedIn app on my phone, and then I can see so far we're hit, we have 120 viewers, 23 Yay. comments on LinkedIn. And nice. I'm just going to sort my comments real quick. And, and if you have, you have not left a comment yet, you can see a little strolling ticker. Let me see if I can point my finger down over here. Can you guys see that? As you go. Go yeah. it says, Please comment below. Let us know where you're watching from. So add a comment now and I'll give you guys a shout out here. So let's start from the bottom and I'll be going up. John Luke says, good afternoon. We have Guru Prasad joining us from India, you guys. So we are international. Wow, welcome. welcome. You, uh, you have an international student club, if I'm remembering there. Yes, we, we yeah we do. We have an awesome international um, student organization. Very... Uh, uh, what what's the word I'm looking very for? Active. Act, yeah, active. very active. Yes, yeah, very very, very active. active. Yes, we yeah. do. So, yep. and we have a few st um, international students as student recruiters. So they go out and talk to students about their experience. And real quick, yeah. I had a, a student from Germany, and yeah. I took her to a school in Waterford, and she was so excited. It was her first time in American high school, oh, and so she. Cool. Was Lockers and they have this. She was so excited. So yeah, it's it was, I remember you that. Take for granted being yeah. in a different culture, you don't have that same appreciation. Yeah. Yeah. Being at being at home. So I'm gonna sort again here, and we got a couple more comments that came in during that. Um, so let's see. We have Jonathan joining us from Savannah, I believe Savannah, Georgia. Jonathan, if I'm not mistaken. Trisha Berger. Um, hello, Trisha. I think Chris, you know Trisha too. Uh, New York yeah. Life. Yep. And Jean Luc says in Montreal it is sunny and cool. Same here. <laughs> I think I'm going to go for a yeah. power walk a little bit because I just need to get some fresher, but it's, it yeah, is it's, cool in Michigan. We need some sun. Yes. Some sun. <laughs> Tanya's joining us from Nebraska. Uh, Tanya Lopez says, hi, Chris. I'm not sure, Tanya, if she might know you, Chris. Katan, Katan is joining us from Southfield, Michigan. Trisha's from Northville, 
virtually working from home. Paul Sherwood's going to be on my LinkedIn broadcast tomorrow. And yeah, Paul, this is the first time I've tried three people in this session. So I don't know if, Paul, works. if you were watching earlier, but I can, you know, flip the views around. And then uh, it looks like the third person in gets the third position. So um, if there's someone on the broadcast I don't like, I can like have somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. And then I was also. Exercise. If your third guest is talking too much, you can remove them from the stream. Um, right. You know, which is something that's interesting. I'm showing this for learning experiences, Chris. So right. Like, I'm sure you are. Yeah. Yes, I appreciate that. Right. <laughs> Uh, we have Monroe joining us from New Orleans where it's raining out there. Sophie yeah. and joining from Paris. So we are, you know, we're wow. in several countries joining oui, us. Oui. <laughs> Nishan oh, Files. Yeah. Files is joining us. She's a new friend from Together Digital. So she's joining us from there. Tisha oh. Hammond loves the trio. She says, nice to see you all. We have Sandra who grew up in Omaha. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, Michonne has a really great point. The world has shifted now to allow work from home, but people who had disabilities were trying to do these initiatives for years, you know, whether it was video conferencing yeah, or right. other things, and now we're, we're forced to, to have yep. them. Um, Timothy Ott, nice to see you. Timothy, now you got me thinking about pie. He's talking about peach pie on here, and I haven't had pie for a little while. Yeah, <laughs> Um, did you order pie from Kroger's the other day, Chris? I was you supposed to give me Yes, a it's down. It's down in a freezer. It's strawberry rhubarb. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Good. See, this is this is grocery shop talk during <laughs> That's um, exactly. All live. This is not scripted. I know you're shocked. No. Right. Um, Here's my script. Hold on. Where's the yeah. Uh, let's see here. We also have Tisha Hammond from uh, Farmington Hills. Paul's joining us from Macomb. And Michonne is joining us from Cincinnati, Ohio. So really nice to see all of you on the session here today. Yeah, and thanks for joining. And, yeah, and as we wrap up, guys, I'll just give each of you the opportunity to um, any final comments for the group um, that you'd like to share. So we'll start with Nicole, and then we'll end with Chris, and then I'll I'll finish us off here. Um, I just want to say thank you for allowing me to join in today. This is <laughs> an experience. Um, and hello to everyone that's out there. I think um, for my final comment, let me think. Hmm. I was once an OCC student and oh, I know yeah. the power of OCC in my life. So I say to everyone out there in cyberspace, we're here for you if you need us. So um, exactly. I think I'll leave with that. Awesome. And do you want to give any shout outs to anybody else? Family members, employees? <laughs> Your boss. Yeah, no. Anybody else like that? I want to give a shout out to Lori, Lori Huber because I know she's going to be watching this. Hello. <laughs> Hi to our um, Chancellor Pete. <laughs> Peter, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> who else do I want to shout out? Dan. Dan is going to probably join in and see this. So, hi, Dan. Mm -hmm. um, and my family, my humans don't wake up until about 1 30. So, oh, nice. <laughs> I'm at a quiet house then right now. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Nicole. Chris, how about for you? Any final comments or any shout outs you want to give out here? No. Yeah, of course I have final <laughs> comments. <laughs> um, I want to say thank you for um, having me on your uh, LinkedIn Live. I appreciate it. Um, mm -hmm. Finally getting on and be able to, uh, to talk with you. And thank you, Nicole, for joining us. Um, the one thing I really want to say is to whoever's watching or watches this and they have students, uh, seniors especially, uh, that are going through this um, unprecedented year. Um, we're we're still celebrating your accomplishments at OCC. Um, so, so don't feel like, like nobody is paying attention because we are. And not just us, but I'm sure the other community colleges are doing it too. But um, we miss you guys. We miss the seniors. We miss going into the schools. We miss the interaction with the parents. Um, but we are here, like Nicole said, we are here for you um, to answer any questions, um, any concerns, any trepidation you have about um, the the fall uh, classes. And not just, um, you know, adult learners too, with the adults that are gonna be looking to take some classes. We're here for you. So um, feel free to reach out and thank you again. 
All right. And as we close this off, I'm just going to drop the Oakland Community College web address up on screen. I'm a marketer, so I'm always like giving giving love out to people and, and helping to make it a little bit easier for all of you guys. And then we did have one final comment that came in on here from Avita. If you're not sharing pie, we don't need to know this info. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you were here, I would slice a, slice a pie for you and we would share that out, but sorry, you just get no pie today. It's just gonna have to be awesome here in the household. So did, thank did you. Wanna put our, did you want, I'm sorry, did you wanna put our email addresses um, no. up there if anyone? No. no? Okay, all right. <laughs> Oh, I didn't do any. I didn't do any shout outs either. Um, I missed shout outs. Yeah, Let me do a quick shout out. Long there, Chris Meller. Okay, so shout outs. So I want to do shout outs to uh, the entire um, staff and faculty and everybody else at OCC. Hello to Lori, and if uh, if uh, Keith watches this or anybody else, thank you. Hope everyone is staying safe, and I appreciate everything you guys do. Okay, so okay. let me drop your your emails in before we leave here. It's going to take me a second because I'm navigating back and forth between chat and. Uh, oh, that's okay. Save this one. No, it's okay. So Nicole Jennings, I got yours. Chris, what's yours? Is CP Meller at Oakland CC? Yeah, I, I put it in the chat there, but yeah. Yeah. Did you guys yeah. hear that tone just now? This is what I deal with at home. There was no tone. And there's no tone. My tone is <laughs> a beautiful tone. tone. You didn't hear that tone. We'll watch it and play it. We'll have a review and a discussion of this. We're going to have to review. All right. <laughs> there was a tone there. You guys. I can't that. win. I can't you win. Know, Help me, people. There was a tone in there. He's like, I did drop it in the chat for you. You know. But. I did not hear that tone. He's yeah. like, sweetie, I dropped it in the chat for you. That, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. I'll pay, I'll pay you later. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, this was fun. Thank you so much, Nicole and Chris, for joining today. Um, and if you're watching, if you guys are watching this on playback later on, I want to just encourage the viewers, still drop a like or a comment below. I'll put this on YouTube later, and I'll include the links that we talked about in the session here today. And um, yeah, so Mavita wants a Meller hour, so maybe we have a oh, family hour. at some point. Maybe oh, Facebook. boy. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you again, Nicole and Chris. Have I won't a be there to save you. All right. Thank you. Care. See you. Bye-bye.